I got some fried rice going here on top of the uh, induction cooker. Easy one pot meal, great for traveling. Yeah, I just put the eggs in. A lot of people cook their eggs first, and then throw the rice in, but this is me. <laughs> Nice thing about an induction cooktop while camping or traveling is the wind doesn't affect it like it does a butane or propane burner. So this is great. We're running it today off this uh, brand new to uh, the market, this Opez Mega One uh, 1000 watt hour uh, power station. It's actually a little over 1000 watt hours. It's 1024. Yeah, this is so new it's not even on the market yet. And that's a good thing for you guys because the introductory price on this is really, really reasonable and extremely competitive. It's lower than anything else. Opez has been making power stations for quite a few years now, and I, I've been using their equipment from the get-go. There are other power stations on the market in this size range, but very few of them have been in business as long as Opez has. And the ones that have been in business a long time are a lot more expensive than this one. They are high quality, the price is always real reasonable and lower than the other major manufacturers. They've got a good guarantee. And the thing is that they keep coming out with new products, which is a good thing because it means that whenever you buy, you're getting the very latest technology. We'll talk about this more here after lunch. It's just fried rice. It's made with tuna and some uh, carrots and green onions, soy sauce. Most people use oyster sauce when we're making fried rice, but I don't like oyster sauce. So I use shoyu and um, a little bit of sugar. And in this one, I actually put in some um, Italian seasoning, salt and pepper. Sugar, like salt, a little sugar brings out the flavor. To make good fried rice, you have to start with uh, leftover rice. So the moisture is out of the rice. Otherwise, you end up with mushy rice. And this style of fried rice with the tuna is really good with hot sauce in it. But anyway, it's done. Very nice with a side of kimchi. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Well, you handled that real good for a little person. <laughs> Who you call a little? So it doesn't matter whether you're just out on a day trip like Linda and I were at the beginning of this video, or if you're out traveling the country and camping or whatever, boondocking, you, you're going to need some kind of a power source. And most of you, I'm sure, either have something like this or you need something like this. And this size is a pretty good size. It'll run your refrigerator uh, very easily, your 12 volt compressor refrigerator with just a couple hundred watts of solar to go along with it. Not to mention charging cell phone, camera batteries, drone batteries, running the um, induction cooktop like we did. Uh, all of those things can be done easily. And it's just a nice thing to have in your RV. But what about home use? Let's talk about that for power outages and let's get into the details on this because it stands ahead above the rest. For home use and power outages, one of the first things you'll notice is that you can connect up another battery to it. This is the Opus B2 battery. And you can c connect two of these B2 batteries to this uh, Opez Mega 1, giving you 5,128 watt hours of power. So when your electricity goes out, this makes a nice home backup unit. The Mega 1 weighs 27.8 pounds, and it does have a LiPo 4 battery in it, and those are very safe. They're not fire prone like lithium ion. This is lithium iron phosphate that's totally different. So this is a safe way to store power. And with a LiPo 4 battery, at 3,500 cycles, you still have 80% of battery life left to go. So you get years worth of use out of this. Think about it. If you use this every day from full charge down to zero, it would take you 3,500 days and the battery would still be uh, at 80% of, of its lifespan. So 
uh, they, they last a long time. There's four 110 outlets. These are 20 amp max, and they put out 2,000 watts with a 4,500 watt surge. So this is already more than you get out of the other power stations that are this size. Uh, if you look, you'll find that the others are less than 2,000 watts. They're more like 1,800 watts or lower. You've got four USB plugs here, and these are 18 watts each. You've got two USB-C, and these are 100 watt each. Uh, I always like to see that. I say that in every video when I do an Opez product. I like their 100 watt USB-C outlets because you can run a laptop off of them. You've got two DC5521 outlets over here, and these are 100 watts. Most of the time on other units, these are only 38 watts. These are great for running lights, by the way. You've got a 120 watt 12 volt DC outlet here, and this is uh, 10 amps. Go ahead and turn the power on so you can see what the screen looks like. If you plug it into the wall, it'll take 1400 watts of AC. It'll take 800 watts of solar. If you put the two together, you can charge this in about one hour. And uh, that's a lot faster than its competitors. Now getting 1400 watts from the AC outlet is really handy in rolling blackouts where you need to recharge fast. And you can recharge it by either plugging into the wall, AC, or plugging in solar panels, or like I mentioned, both at the same time. You can plug it into your car outlet, or you can uh, charge it by generator. One feature I really like is that, watch this, when I turn this off, you have to push and hold, it turns both of these off. And it doesn't matter which one you turn on, I can turn this one on down here, and it also turns this one on up here. You don't have to handle two buttons it ties it in. If you had another B2 battery, they'd all be coming on or going off at the same time. That's really handy. Now it does have a Bluetooth app, which I'm looking at right now. And uh, you, from the Bluetooth app, you can set things like the idle timeout, the uh, screen timeout, the AC timeout. You can check the temperature and you can check the level of charge and anything you can see on the screen, you can do it remotely. So if you've got a Mega 2, Mega 3, Mega 4, now you can download the app. You don't get it from the Play Store. You go to the Opez uh, website itself and uh, select the app for either Android or iPhone. If you need more power than the Mega 1, you can also get the Mega 2, the Mega 3, the Mega 4, and you can connect numerous batteries to those, the battery here on the bottom. I think the Mega 4, you can connect up to nine of these batteries to it. So you could have a lot of power for your home. Also, this has a UPS function that's an uninterrupted power source. So if you plug medical equipment into it or something that you can't afford to have it go off, if the power goes out in your home, this reacts in 20 milliseconds, flips over to um, from wall outlet to your uh, power source here. So it's uninterrupted power source. And also that's available up to 2000 watts most of these, the uninterrupted power source, only it's only good for part of the available AC power. This is actually good for the full 2000 watts on the outlets. That's another reason this is a head above everybody else. To get the most discount on buying this, you should pre-order it. And when you pre-order it, you can pay $1 for a $50 voucher. So the price of this starts out at $4.99, plus use your $50 voucher, and that brings it down to $4.49. Check that out against the other products out there and you'll find that this is very reasonable. And you can pay $1 and get that $50 voucher uh, until September 9th. After that, it'll be $499, but you'll still get the 5% gone again discount. I think I've covered all the main features of this unit. And if you want more information, I encourage you to go to Opus's website. I'll put the link down below. Go there and check it all out yourself. They list everything that I just said and more. I don't do very many reviews. I do one a month, and this is it for this month, and I only review products that I trust myself. I've been using Opez for a long time, and this is a good company. In fact, we carry the Mega 2 in the trailer. This one's going in the back of the car to run the rice cooker and things like that. So I do trust their product, and I recommend that you check them out too. We'll see you around.